evening all. It's, uh, well, it's actually uh, Wednesday. Early hours of Wednesday morning, technically. I am feeling fucking tired, but I can guarantee as soon as I go to bed, I'll just lay awake like we usually do. I just, I'm feeling tired right now, you know, my eyes are just ready to close, but by the time I go to bed, I'll be like, hmm, my brain will just say, no. Anyway. Yes, I've actually got floor. I can actually get to the window. Uh... I am actually tempted to do away with one of these chairs. I don't know which one. Well, I know a buddy of mine wanted a better computer chair, so I am actually tempted to let him have the one in the bedroom. Put this one in the bedroom and just use that one between the bench and the PS3. Uh, anyway, the other thing I've been up to, okay, that was freaky, um, I've installed the stereo, and everything works aside from the record player, uh, the platter doesn't spin, I can hear the motor working, and humming away, but I, there's just no action. But other than that, the radio part works, and twin tape deck, both sides work, the CD player works. And when I googled the model number on the tape deck, it came back as between 1985 and 1986. So, round about when CDs were first sort of making an appearance. So, this thing would have been, you know a very high-class stereo system of its day. I knew it was 80s. You can just tell from the design and all the little graphic -y images like that one that it's uh, an 80s design. And it's even got counter. It's got two little LED displays down there. I think they're LEDs anyway. I'm not going to turn it on because it's going to blast the radio out. Um, I haven't used the um, FM antenna that came with it. I've uh, got it plugged into the wall down there with that coax. The black one. So the one on the um, on the right as we are looking at it. The other one is going is the satellite one that goes through my um, free sat box in the other room. I've got no cable for the... oh, it's because I've got another one down there, isn't it? Duh. <coughs> but I get bloody good radio signal off that. That is actually a socket behind there. That um, Four radios. It's actually got radio labelled on it. And TV the other side. And then the um, two for the satellite and then I've got further down that wall, under there, there's another coax socket for, um, well, what would have been for analogue. But uh, I've actually got my TV connected to that one. Not that I actually watch it. I don't know why I've got it connected, to be honest, but it is. Um, for free view. Because this one up here... I've got my um, black coax on the right there. The left one is meant for free view. But, figure this, or work this one out. I get a better free view signal from the original old coax socket, which is actually behind the um, Xbox. We can't see it. Um, I just, you would have thought we'd have got a better signal off the um, nice new... Uh, a free view aerial that's on the end here, but nope, I am get a better free view signal off the original analog aerial. But like I said, I don't watch TV in here anyway. I just connected it up for the sake of connecting it up. <laughs> just in case kind of thing. Uh, anyway, that sort of changed my plans a bit, that record deck not working. 
Um, that means I can't sell the Ferguson record player in the bedroom, at least not yet. Um, but I can sell the tape deck. That's one thing that I will sell. Might put that up on Gumtree tomorrow. Cat's Custom Trikes is having my old stereo down there. Fully works. Twin tape deck works, CD deck works, radio works, it all works. Um, I'm not including the Sony speakers, I'm keeping those. But I do have a pair of speakers I can include. Got more packages from Bricklink. I'm still waiting on keyboard, battery charger. I'm sure there's one more thing that I bought off eBay and I can't remember what it was. I'll remember when it comes through the letterbox. <laughs> I'm waiting on three more Bricklink orders and then I should be able to um, start building my railway wagon. Anyway, yeah, I was debating on getting rid of one of these chairs. Uh, there just isn't room in here for two. And I like some access up this end for the window. Not that I can see much, but when Mum turns up and toots her horn, I always come to the window and just sort of wave to let her know I've heard her and know she's there and... Uh, I just get pissed off clambering over chairs and whatnot. This I'm going to do some experimenting with uh, when I've cleared some space on here. Because that was the motherboard I was going to put in my brother's PC that decided to die once I'd installed Windows 10. Well, I say the motherboard died, I'm not actually sure if it's the motherboard. Or if it's the processor that's gone. I do have other Intel processors I can chuck in there to uh, check that out. So at some point in the future I will. I'm hoping it's just the processor that's gone kaput. But uh, my brother's definitely got the better of the mother, better of the two gigabyte motherboards. That's a gigabyte brand. Which you might just be able to make out on there. Yeah, this one's an Intel one. Um, I don't know what the max processor is this can take, but it can take up to 4 gigabytes DDR2 memory. The AMD version can take up to 8 gigabytes DDR2 and a 6 core AMD processor. So, yeah, I definitely think my brother's got the um well at the these two he's got the better end of the deal with that one and i do believe he's actually planning on upgrading the processor at least and i just tripped over that stereo oh there's the um fm antenna the original fm antenna look at that the screws on the back. I could have used that and, you know, gone completely retro, but I don't get a very good signal in this flat anyway, so that's why I've used the one on the wall. I get a much, much, much better signal. In fact, my favourite radio stations are actually clear as a bell coming through that. It's exactly the same setup I had on that. That's got a coax socket on it as well for um, external aerials. Uh, I don't think there's much else now. The remote is a bit picky. Um, I've only actually got it to um, turn the volume up twice. <laughs> it, it doesn't want to work. It's not a big deal. I mean, I just use the buttons on the front there. I'm sort of used to it because that doesn't have a remote either. It probably did at one point in its life. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, no idea what I'm doing tomorrow yet. When I get paid next, 
I want to um, buy four 10 watt LED floodlights. Um, or at least four to start with because I want to upgrade the lights in my shed to LED. Um, the only restriction I've got, which has proven to be a bit of a pain on eBay, is that they've got to be 12 volt because I don't have 240 volt mains in the shed. Um, the reason I want to go LED is because I'll give off a better light um, and that should make my battery last a lot longer. But I'm not going to put all four in the shed. I think one 10 watt might be enough inside. This is the other reason I've got to buy four, just in case it isn't. But I think one will be. Uh, one outside the shed door, uh, pointing down where into the area where I work so I've got a bit of better light there if I have to do any emergency repair out there you know, if something breaks on my bike because uh, it's going to get to the point where it's going to be like this at five o'clock in the afternoon so there's always going to be a chance I'm going to have to zip down there in the dark and trying to do it by an orange coloured street light is freaking hard work it's bright <laughs> But because of the colour, it's not good work, you know, a good working light, a good light to work by. Which is why I was going to put up my own little floodlight. Uh, and again, if one's not bright enough, I'd put two up there. But if one is bright enough inside and outside down there, then what I'm going to do is put one under this shelf and one under that shelf. Oh, pardon me. Um, to light up the Lego table. I don't think up here I would need two. But if I get four next week, if I do find that I need extras, I can just go on eBay and get the extras. £3.88 they're going to cost me each. Jesus. That is nasty. Oh. Fuck me! Oh. It really comes to something when you can actually fart and actually turn your own nose up at it. Jesus. <laughs> that really is nasty. I was watching the town council today move the tables and no not the chairs just the tables out of the old council chamber over the way there so they're nearly done with the move and the security company has been in and uh, removed the receiver from the wall that was right up the top on the roof for the um, CCTV we're high tech in this town. We've got Wi Fi cameras. I always wondered if there's a way that I could actually use the Wi Fi on a computer and hack them. It probably is. I wouldn't have a clue where to start or how to do it, but there probably is. <laughs> and I could get into a hell of a lot of trouble if I did and got caught. So I read online. So, uh, yeah. Probably a good thing that I don't know how to do it. Uh, what else? But, um, oh yeah, the, um, the old town CCTV cameras, or the only two that are left, are still over there in all them weeds across the car park. So I am tempted to go across and just help myself. Because <laughs> they're obviously not bloody wanted, are they? If they the way I see it, if they actually wanted them, they wouldn't have left them out there for a year and eight months. You know, in all weathers, getting full of cobwebs and spiders and bugs and leaves and rain and frozen up and whatnot. 
They'd have locked them up in the barns round the corner here if they wanted to keep them. So, uh, go help myself. <laughs> What's the worst that someone's going to do? Tell me to put them back, so. I'm not seeing the part of crap they've got round by them barns, actually. Jeez, that's getting bigger and bigger. I found the um, shaft section of a weed whacker around there. No engine on the end of it, it is just the shaft a bit. But I don't know if that would actually be any use to my stepdad. Because we've got a couple over there, but it's the engines I think we want, not the uh, shaft. I don't know though. Um, yeah, I've not got a clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, not yet. I've got, I can't believe it's middle of the week already and I still have not done what I wanted to do this week and that's uh, get at least two of the three bikes out front that I've got to do for friends done. The stupid thing is, they're relatively easy to do. Maybe if I can get... If it's nice tomorrow, I'll uh, take my the top half of my toolbox down and uh, do them down there. I've got a handlebar to change on the ladies' three-speed. Just because I've got a better one, you know. I don't want to sell a complete shit heap, if you know what I mean. I want to make it look as tidy as I possibly can. I can't really do nothing about the rusty wheels, but they're the only wheels I've got. Uh, I've got my friend's mountain bike to do. i am sort the front gears out, so I don't have to piss around trying to find a weird sized small crank. Uh, and then I've got that racer to do for Cat's Custom Trikes, which will be easy. Sooner I get that done, I can actually take that over and this stereo as well and drop them off. I'm not charging her for the stereo, by the way. That's free. It was given to me for free, so what do they say? There's, what is it? Sort of paying it forward? Do they say? You know. I don't think that's got much monetary value to it, anyway. Even though it is a fully working system, I think it's just too modern. I mean, these days, everybody just seems... Or, a lot of... Well, not everybody. <laughs> I'll rephrase that. A lot of people seem to use... Um, their, you know, their cell phones or tablets for music and whatnot. Computers. Laptops, you know. I think stereos are... Well, I wouldn't say they're going the way of the dodo, but I don't think they're as popular as they used to be. You know, when I was growing up, we didn't have MP3s, etc., etc. We only had CDs, so... But, never mind. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think I will... No, I can actually get in the shed. I might as well uh, do the bikes downstairs, actually. But, uh, yeah, as soon as I can, I'm going to get those floodlights. £3.88 each. So it's going to cost... That's free postage as well, so it's going to cost me no more than £15 for four. I might actually add another couple on and make it around £20, you know. Just so I've got a couple of spare, just in case. I don't know why I keep coming to the window, because at this time of night you can't see fuck all. <laughs> oh, I can show you the path down there, because it's all lit up. <sighs> don't know if the town council are going to be uh, moving anything tomorrow, because it's the, the um, grounds maintenance team have been moving all the furniture and of course they've got other jobs they've got to get on with as well like emptying the bins on the park so and uh, mowing grass 
So I suppose they've got. That's probably why last week they didn't move things every day. Now they've got all these other commitments as well to juggle. I don't envy them poor bastards. They really are busy at the minute. <coughs> Right, I'm going to shut down and get this video uploaded. Uh, so I think tomorrow I will, if weather permitting, see if I can get some bikes done. Because if I can actually get them done, then I can get my friend to, to come along and uh, pick them up. And get them out of my way. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bikes locked up out front. And half of those, literally, are not mine. <coughs> oh, that reminds me, I've got a bolt somewhere <laughs> to try on that folding bike. Anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to... Best of fans. I'm going to go away. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I will talk to you at some point tomorrow. Might be in the evening again, like this one. Oh, yeah, just before I do disappear, I'm not sure I can do anything with that apple because uh, the keyboard is uh, quite expensive. But if my friend wants me to, I can put him together a, a different machine if he really wants one to get online with. Anyway, see you later.